Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, then welcome. Today, as the title suggests, we're going to be transforming some basic dollar store pumpkins into these gorgeous matte and rich colored pumpkins. I really wanted my decor this year to look a little bit more luxurious and custom, but without spending the extra money. So here is my hack for dollar store pumpkins. So we're starting out with the first pumpkin, and I'm going to show you guys how I mix that royal matte blue color as you can see in the bottom of the screen this is all just dollar store acrylic paint so the majority is obviously going to be this blue and we're gonna add just a drop or two of black to make it sort of a darker richer blue mix that all together really well after mixing this I realized that I did want to add a little bit more black in because it really wasn't dark enough for my liking so I just added another drop or two and mixed together after you're done mixing everything and you're satisfied with this color the way we're gonna make it matte is by adding some baking soda so this is just regular Arm & Hammer baking soda and I'm gonna sprinkle about just less than half of the amount of paint that I have in there um, so basically like a one to two ratio of baking soda to paint and mix that up really well and start applying directly to your pumpkin with a darker color like this, you're going to notice that it's covering up the orange very well and you may not even need to go in for a second coat. I definitely didn't. You could see a little bit of the orange shining through in some parts, but it wasn't enough for me to go back in for a second coat. You're going to see next the color I'm going to do is an off-white color and that one I did need to apply two coats. So here's the finished result for the blue. While doing this, I figured out a hack because my fingers were actually cramping from holding that stem while painting. So I actually just popped the stem off and put a toothpick in there and that was much easier to hold. Next, I'm gonna show you how to mix this off white color. I know it looks white, but I've actually added just a little bit of brown paint. I think I just put one or two drops in there just to bring it down to sort of a warmer off white tone. The decor in my house and usually around Thanksgiving is very warm toned and I didn't want a stark white pumpkin to sort of stick out amongst my decor so I just added a little bit of brown and mixed it up and that is the color I got we're gonna repeat the same steps and add the baking soda in again and then mix it all in very well you want to make sure you really mix the baking soda in otherwise your pumpkin or whatever you're painting is gonna look really gritty and you don't want that like I mentioned before, this was the lighter color that seemed to be a little more transparent and more of the orange was showing through underneath. So I did the first coat on camera as you're gonna see right now. However, after it dried, I did mix up the exact same color with baking soda and do a second coat. Um, and then I was happy with the results. So once I'm done painting this pumpkin, the next thing I'm gonna be showing you guys is how to paint the stems. Uh, like you saw a little bit earlier, the stems of these dollar store pumpkins usually just pop out and I didn't wanna leave them brown because we were changing the color of the pumpkins. I thought it would be really nice to paint them gold or green depending on what color pumpkin I was gonna match the stem to. You can obviously do any color combination you want. Um, a few other colors that I wanted to try out if I had gotten more pumpkin was a dark red or burgundy colored pumpkin with a gold stem also a orange but a muted orange with a gold stem I think would have looked really cool moving on to the stem I am painting this one that sort of dark army green color that I told you about it's just a mix of regular green paint with just a drop or two of black um, and I added the baking soda in there so that the stem would be matte as well. I painted a little bit under the stem just to make sure none of the brown was peeking through. The second one I wanted to do which was gold. I have this metallic gold marker and I sort of was just hoping it would work and it totally did. Um, it covered the brown really nicely and it wasn't opaque or anything so I liked how that turned out. Another thing you can use for this is spray paint. If you just have a can of gold spray paint you can lay down a newspaper and spray a bunch of stems together and I'm sure you'd get the same effect. 
All right, so there you have it. The last stem is done. Now that everything is dried, I'm gonna put it together so you can see the final result. I think it looks absolutely great together. Here's a little before and after, just so you remember what the actual pumpkin looked like before we painted it. Next, we're gonna put the gold stem onto the blue. I think this color combination turned out great. I know blue is not a natural color for a pumpkin. However, it's just really nice for some glam, luxurious decor. And there's such a big difference between the before and after. And all I did was use dollar store paint. I have one more small hack to show you guys. I found these gold pumpkins at the dollar store, which are super cute, but I think they just lacked some contrast. So I just pulled the stem off and actually painted just the stem black. And I think it made such a huge difference in the final look of the pumpkin just made it look a little more expensive and have a little more contrast so the stem didn't get completely washed out with the rest of the pumpkin this is a nice quick easy hack for those of you that don't want to paint the entire pumpkin and make a mess you can just paint the stem and change the total look of the pumpkin all right guys so that is all for my diy pumpkin tutorial i think they look absolutely great and please comment down below if you guys tried this i really want to see what kind of decor you guys came up with here's a little sneak peek of the decor i have on my tv stand if you guys want to see how i put together all this decor then please go ahead and subscribe because that video will be coming out in just a few days as always thank you guys so much for watching please like this video if you learned something and leave a comment down below if you tried it and i will see you guys in the next one. Bye!